Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new to The Naturally Nia. So for this video, I'm showing you guys how I do my top knot bun. So keep watching. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> so this is my hair. Like I literally didn't do anything to it last night. I literally just went to sleep on it and I just threw it in a bonnet. So that's why it's, sorry, my allergies are like getting to me. Happy March. So this is just my hair so i'm ready like it's just so old like i don't even know if you can say that it's like a little it's just so old like ugh. this has been like a burrito i've been doing for like i think almost like seven days like it's been so long it's just so ready to go even though the curls like the curls are doing so well low-key like that's why i've been kind of like yeah it's good but her time is done so i started my water bottle i'm sorry like Oh my god, my allergies. I took my allergy medicine, but like, woo. So I just like to start my hair like kind of like wet to deal with it. Like when I'm trying to manipulate it. So it's kind of wet. I personally on my top knot buns on old hair rather than like me um washing my hair just to put it in a top knot personally i just feel like i washed it i wasted a wash cycle when i do it that way so my hair is pretty like i hate the word damp oh my gosh i'm like crying i promise i'm okay <laughs> my hair is a little like damp i don't know if you can see like it's just like a little damp this one i start to put my hair i start to put it up and it's up to you so usually I try to do really like the center of my head because if you bring it, like, I don't like it too like close up. And I don't like it too far back. I just kind of roughly place a ponytail holder. And then I'm gonna take my lovely, lovely Eco. Any of your choice, honestly, like, I just have the green one. So I'm gonna mist again. And we're gonna start placing the Eco. So now I'm just starting to massage the ego in. After I take it up, I take I take my ponytail holder off. It's like, like a placeholder. And then I use this is like a detangling brush. I have no idea where I got it from, but like, yeah. <laughs> I think I got it from Target. And I just brush the hair. So I'm doing this for my whole head. And that's why you want your hair like a little bit moist. that I'm taking my ponytail holder again and I'm placing it on my head center and it depends on how you like it I'm probably gonna do one more round of gel when I do like top knots I'm usually putting this on my head for like four or five days like this must be my hairstyle for like a few days so I want it it's not like a, a day type of hairstyle so that's usually why i go in but if you're doing it for like the day you should be good for just one layer of ego so then i'm going to do the process again and i'm going to this time spray okay i'm going to place it into the ponytail I usually try to double the ponytail. We'll see how my hair is feeling. I, I will double it. Hopefully the ponytail will hold it up and snap. Okay. And then I'm pulling the hair. Okay, so before I do anything, I brush. I usually take a hey, hey, brush. I brought this one honestly off of Amazon, so I can link this one for sure these brushes the goal is like hard but not too hard and I couldn't find that in any of the beauty supply stores like all the beauty supply stores just had hard brushes like what so this helps it gives it that slickness when you brush it okay 
So here is the little puff. Start. So for me, I take, I start from the bottom and I work my way up. So I'm gonna take just like a piece like this big and I'm going to wrap it around. And then once I get to the end, belly pins, I got these from Five Below. I feel like there's that's your better bag because you get like a lot. I just tore that giant in half. But you take a bobby pin and I'm gonna try to move a little close. And I just pin that little part right there and I tuck it into like the ponytail holder. So it looks like real like small, like that first one. I've seen girls do like just with one and this looks cute. But if you want to keep going, you just keep taking pieces from the bottom and working your way up. So once again, I'm stuck with this little piece. So take the bobby pin. And you just tuck it in. Ooh, that's coming out a little bit. And that's okay. You just undo the bobby pin. And you tuck it again. I feel like there's no like real like right way to do this. It's just what looks good on your head. And then you're just gonna keep doing it for as many as you would like. So I'm probably gonna stop at this my third piece. I'm probably gonna stop here. I hope I tucked in the right place. So this is how it looks. Um, so let me tell you how we kind of fix this. This is your BFF. I feel like this is always your BFF with anything come natural. It doesn't look bad like this, but I like my joint to look a little bit like kind of fuller. Like it looks kind of pigeon held. So I want to make it a little bit wider. So I take the pig and I literally pick it out. Anything that needs help, that's why you haven't hanged any bobby pins. Then I take the this part, because I want to be higher, pick it on up. And I just play around with it till my best of my liking. Sometimes you gotta tuck stuff in. I feel like you can never limit how many bobby pins you wanna do. It just depends on the type of look you're trying to get. That's all. And even you can take your hands and even spread it out a little bit, however you want. Just make sure, you, but then when you get the pick, just pick at the top to help give it its fullest look. Play around with it. And I'm just gonna put some edges on. My last step is if you're going somewhere, always put your scarf on. I don't have my sew scarf, but this will do. <laughs> just put your scarf on so we can sit and let it wait and do your do. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.